Saturday, September 10th, saw the 218th anniversary of the Battle of St. George's Key, considered the catalyst for the establishment of a modern independent nation. In 1798, a combination of British settlers known as Baymen and loyal slaves as well as free people of color formed an unusual alliance to defeat a Spanish fleet from Veracruz intent on raising the settlement as they had almost 20 years before. The rest, as some say, is history. But in his opening remarks, Belize City Mayor Darrell Bradley said the sacrifices of our ancestors then can serve as inspiration for modern Belizeans. But in honoring them today, we should embrace the fact that we are the inheritors of their great legacy, that we have inherited their spirit, a spirit of endurance, of purpose, of courage, that we have within our national character the potential to rise above our differences and to unite as one people facing today's battles head on with optimism and fearless resolve. That as stewards of this homeland, we should commit ourselves to live more like the Baymen, serving our nation and each other with selfless devotion and fervent pride so that our celebration of the memory of the Baymen today is not hollow and that we truly honor them by living lives worthy of their great sacrifice. Meanwhile, Culture Minister and Co-Chair of the National September Celebrations Commission, Elodio Aragon Jr., spoke about some of the values inculcated in the lives of the original settlers, whether slave or free, and how they translate to modern Belizeans. While we celebrate with joy, we must never fail to draw inspiration from the struggles and victory of September 1798. When faced with challenges and hardships, we should never give in, especially when our greatest treasure, our sovereignty and independence are at stake. Rather, we should look inward to that enduring nationalism and rekindle again and again our love for our country, a country that has been decreed to us by the long struggle of our forefathers and foremothers. So inspired, we should stand boldly and proud. We must turn on our creativity and ingenuity at full force. With unwavering dedication, we must build up and transform Belize. This is our obligation and duty to be as our team states, sovereign and strong, together as one. Another feature of the annual ceremony is the formal coronation of the Queen of the Bay by her predecessor, Reigning Queen Fallon Kane, formally handed over to Crystalline Castillo, both young women hail from Stan Creek District. Following the official ceremonies in Belize City was the traditional Citizens Parade, which this year ended at Yabra Green, site of the Municipal Multicultural Fair. Similar ceremonies were held nationwide. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.